When working with sheet metal parts, it can sometimes be difficult recreating the needed cuts, bends, and punches that your models need to be a true digital prototype. One such difficulty is figuring out the sometimes incredibly complex positioning of punch locations that will cross bends. The model in the window is a fairly simple one, but it should give you a good idea how to use the punch across bend feature of the punch tool. With it, you can create difficult punch procedures across bends as a secondary feature that uses existing geometry as a guide. To begin, select the top face of the lower portion of the part and then select Create Sketch from the context menu. You need to create a punch feature directly below the one that is already there. To do so, you will project the geometry you need to create the center point. Select the Project Geometry command on the Create panel. Zoom in a bit if needed and select the two straight edges of the oblong punch hole through the top. Zoom out a bit and notice the projected lines in your sketch. Now, select the Line tool. Scrub along one of the lines until you see the green dot signifying the center, then click to begin drawing the line. Find the center of the other line and click to create the line. Press the Escape key to exit the command. Window select all of the geometry, right click, and select Construction. You will now add the center point that will be used by the punch tool to create the punch feature. On the Create panel, select the Point command and scrub the crossing line to find the center then click to place the center point. Select Finish Sketch on the ribbon to both end the point command as well as finish the sketch. You will now create the punch feature. In the Modify panel, select the Punch Tool command. Double click the Abrown Punch in the Punch Tool directory and the Punch Tool dialog box appears. Select the Across Bend option if it is not selected already, then click Finish. And there you have it. The new punch feature is directly below the first feature, assuring that a wire chase, pipe, or other entity that needs to pass through the part will do so unobstructed. As you develop your modeling skills, Try using the Across Bend option when aligning complex paths in the assembly environment. It is a very powerful asset that you will find quite easy to use.